Hello, happy people. I am very glad to be part of this Top Talk. A warm welcome to all. Respected Craig Richard sir and Shravan sir. A very good evening to you. Yeah. Let's start with a gratitude story by Shivani Akka. Thank you, Kranti. So, a smile. Let me tell you uh, how can something bring a smile. So, here it goes. Me and my dad were at the grocery store. So, we were going through the list, picking up every item in the list, going through the prices, listing out, sorting out every item. Uh, now, at the end, when there was billing, we couldn't find an item. And we got to know that it was missing. So, at that time, we were very frustrated. And then there popped up a notification and I saw a photo. So I went on to see it. It was a card, a gratitude card. And instantly it brought a smile on the face. Without a second thought, I could smile from the heart. So this says how one gratitude card can make one smile. Can you think how about 1,600, 3,000 plus cards we wrote, how many smiles it could have created? Keep practicing gratitude and keep smiling. By Pranit. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Akka. Yes, really, uh, gratitude card means much smiles on our face. Thank you, Akka, for sharing about those. Yeah. Let me give a small introduction about our Craig Richard, sir. He is a saxophonist, pianist, and singer. He plays ukulele, drums, and marimba. He is an athlete. He is a national finalist in the USA competition American Ninja Warrior. He has been featured in the USA competition news for a rock climbing accident that spanned 18 hours of harrowing self-rescue. Yeah, this is just a teaser about our Craig Richard, sir. We will know more about him in the coming minutes. Thank you. Violet, this time to present our story presentation. A story of past, a story of the present, a story of you, a story of me, a story of us, our story. Welcome to our story. Making the impossible possible. Hearty hello to my team. I am Kranti Kumar Govindu, pursuing second year mining engineering from Kakadai University, University College of Engineering, Kottegudam. Yeah, and I will be hosting this session. We are very grateful for your presence. I highly appreciate everyone who are here on this presentation. Yeah, let us get started with our invocation. This is who we are. We are a team, talented, energetic, astonishing mindsets. We can do anything and everything. We talk, we care, we respect each other. We see beauty in everything. We are connected by hearts and driven by values. We celebrate each other. We provide value to each other. We take ownerships in everything we do. We have freedom to make mistakes. We learn as we go. We are mad to make a difference. We love disruptive ideas. We make impossible things possible. We are strong to question the creation. We believe in dreaming big. If we do not dare to dream big, are we really living? Why be ordinary when we can be extraordinary? We should be driven by our goals, not by egos. We can do it. We will do it. Let us not hope for the best. Let us be the best. This is who we are. Thank you, Kranti. Yeah. Thank you, Divya. Wow. You powerfully conveyed our invocation. Your graceful voice made even our invocation more powerful. Yeah. Stories. Stories are those invisible frames that form the base of the way of things and are pursued in this world. You might have heard many discrete, distinctive stories from your parents, grandparents, friends, books, and of course, movies too. I repeat, discrete, distinctive stories because they just talk about only one or two phases of an individual's life. But as humans, we crave to experience the hidden magical conspiracies of the universe to make who we are today. Thus, here we are today to give you the experience of our holistic divine journey of our achieving big dreams, a journey that marked revolutionary starts four years back and is now passing on the legacy of striving to be 
in the top 0.001% of happy people so are you ready to experience a heavenly metaphorical ride of our journey our story in the form of murmuration of these adorable starlings violet then let's start over to your starlings hola how are you doing hey i'm good like always nothing much how are you awesome how is it possible that you're super energized and lively every time i meet all ha 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 let me tell you story a story of fantastic murmuration a team of vibe enthusiastic like minded super starlings who want to be in the top 1% of food spirited happy birds starlings who want to extend their wings to explore the limitless sky super starlings who are a beautiful exemplification of serendipity a flock that flies with love floats with compassion and leads with passion and lives with gratification wow a murmur where is it and what is it about it is right here embedded in everyone but very few embrace it our top murmuration is the embodiment of incredible values a powerful mission and a breathtaking vision to change the world and with a change we want to be it's not possible alone it needs a who support system and ecosystem to express and a culture to live in as we are strive to live our values of assisting each other to fly and reach our desired destinations our goals and our big dreams we are a team of servant leads who outwork everyone in the team and give our best to provide value to others we fly in a decentralized web of heart to heart connections which form a strong foundation of our unity we are independently dependent on each other our murmuration embraces starlings of different colors different sizes and different ages we believe every super starling is unique and beautiful in its own way we admire each and every bird in the flock in respect to of all their arts as a disruptive team we rise to tremendous heights with the strong belief in our minds to make the impossible possible we are passionate to explore across all extreme peaks seamless seas crisp deserts and floral springs our murmurations also include birds from varied species we believe that interactions with new birds every time bring in new energy and come open the doors to make miracles happen we are very grateful for every moment they have been part of our flock and giving us an opportunity to provide value to them every bird from out of the flock tunes in with our song that is the magic of ecosystem each and every bird has a unique skill set that is born with art learning is a continuous process in the flock we rise up every day to learn something from the world from an ant to an elephant everything is a teacher to our ever learning mindsets learning is always interesting with our super starlings we learn together with the ultimate resource accessible in this universe we transmit our knowledge and acquire energy and we assist each other to become the best versions of ourselves we persist to fly we fall but we don't look at the ground and say it's impossible we look at the eye and say we will make it possible every obstacle is an opportunity what is the worst possible scenario we might end up our learning something new experience the reality of life we are grateful for every starling that triggers the change in our life every chance that enriches us to give our best to the world and every moment that makes us shine as a super starling gratitude is a driving force that attracts the whole universe gratitude towards each other enables us to fly in harmony we care for each other each starling happiness matters we are empathetic towards each and every top starling who is on the path of disruption as a team we float with unwavering entropy of emotion yes compassionate we are wow but how do you manage to have so much positivity and a right mindset every time don't you have no days is your emotional state always happy and inspired well 
It's all because of platform which we created to express ourselves. Top University, the platform which gives us space to each and every super starling in us, vulnerable starling in us, excited starling in us, learning starling in us, grateful starling in us, and what not. We believe that every one of us has our own way of perceiving things and experiencing them and expressing them. Top University is an umbrella of the wild and colorful dreams of our top starlings. Every day at 7 p.m., the flock gathers together and settles down at their comfort and gets transported to the world of expression. We proudly call these gatherings Top Obsessions. Whereas Wednesday at 7 p.m., Sundays at 9 a.m., we have a guest bird, guest bird either from our murmuration or from different murmurations, expressing themselves and sharing their wisdom to empower us with their life experiences. We proudly call them Top Talks. But do you think that every starling is going to carry this positivity and feel good emotion all through the day? Good question. We may not carry the feel good emotion for the whole day long, but it's our instinct to tend towards positivity. Look for the inspiration within our flock. And that's where our top podcasts, our pleasing and choosing chirps of the flocks come into action and lit up our moods on our emotionally down days. Soon, we are also going to create another platform called Top Publications, where we want to give space to each and every starling to come out of their comfort zone, get inspired to inspire the world with their art of chirping, but this time in writing. Again, this idea is going to be pursued by two of our young, aspiring, ardent, stalling entrepreneurs. Ha! Huh. This is an amazing way of building and strengthening connections between folks of not only our mindsets, but of different mindsets too. Notice that every activity you do has the same set of core values, followed by every style. And this is certainly creating a brand of your flock among other species. That's true. Starting from our top talk to our top monthly celebration, we are carrying our ecosystem, our values and our top culture everywhere. We admire our culture so much that now it's part of every cell of every superstar. We just don't exist. We coexist. We live every moment to the fullest. Every day is a top day of ex experiment, excitement, just imagine compiling all our proud achievements and memorable days and celebrating them. We fondly call it the Top Monthly Celebration. Top Monthly Celebration? Is it actually? Starlings love to fly in the sunset sky. But we, being a disruptive murmuration of starlings, love to not only enjoy the sunset skies of all days, but also acknowledge each and every moment. We fly higher and higher in the sky. We love to celebrate each and every accomplishments of our super starlings, be it small or big. It has now become our monthly routine to gather on the first Sunday of every month and spread the happiness of our fellow starling success. So monthly celebrations not only loves the achievements but also celebrates birthdays of every super starling. Okay, starlings, bye for now. Let us meet at Top City. Yay! What is this top city? This is such a noble thought of celebrating each other's success. I'm astonished by the unrealized and priceless happiness you are creating in this world. Top murmuration is definitely going to leave your mark in this creation. Brand is not a tag that a murmuration or a flock strives to create. It is the expression of emotions that a murmuration makes you feel, which eventually leads to the creation of the brand. It is the impact we strive to inspire the world. It is the ecosystem that every starling in this world desires to live in. It is the culture that pursues them to be the best version of themselves. And it is the value that the top brand adds every day to their lives, which in turn creates the brand itself. Our top brand is a humble and powerful way of depicting our top team our top accomplishments and our top culture. By the way, the word top was born from the local Telangana dialect, which means simply out of the world. Whatever we create in this world, be it individually being part of the top family or as the top e-cell family or as the aspiring CEOs of top companies will be under our top brand. 
Every move is disruptive. Every action is revolutionary. What else does the world need? Our flock of hearts is incomplete without our parents, our support, and our extraordinary mentors, the torch bearers of our spectacular moves. Dreaming of flying high is an easy thing, but it needs humongous determination and perseverance to make it a reality. In this journey of fulfilling our desires, we need parent starlings to support us and top mentor starlings to guide us through all the highs and lows. We believe that every super starling needs an ecosystem around them to be itself. Get over the inhibition and come out with flying colors. Our Future Together program gives us this essential space where every starling of each flock comes forward to collaborate and pave their path to reach new heights. In the meantime, super starlings learn to create their opportunities of interacting and collaborating with the flocks of other species. Their flexibility and adaptability to different color, different cultures followed by different species gives them the wonderful opportunity to explore, experience, and enlive many beautiful dimensions of this world. This way, our starlings provide value to other flocks. While learning something new from each and every movement, the collaboration of companies is an instrumental idea in fulfilling and releasing the joy of developing these unique embellishments to reach new heights every day. It provides the desired and essential space, environment, and culture to refine the entrepreneurial skill set that exists in each one of us. These collaborations are a greater cause of starting up our own top companies in the next few months under the orchestration of super styling CEOs of already existing companies. Every day we are blossoming with new ideas and creating opportunities to spread our wings wide. These are then immediately resulting in a unique conglomerate of super styling from different flocks, where the experienced starlings are accustomed to assisting us using their experiences. Hey Starling, this is about our future together collaboration of companies and our top brand. You can experience more in our Top City. Let us meet in our Top City. Hey, tell me about Top City. Why are you flying away? Okay, I'm inspired with the way you pamper and respect each and every starling of your marvelation. I can clearly see a bigger picture of the world you have been creating for four years. This wouldn't have been easy, isn't it? Hmm, but guess what? When we are signed up for bigger things, we tend to see the rest of all things from a bird's eye perfect perspective. Then naturally our personal challenges seem tiny in front of ambitious goals we have set for ourselves as a murmuration. Indeed, we are on the path of serendipity and this is our pulsating journey of defying the laws of nature while defying nature itself. Do you want to know about Top City? Come. Let us meet all the starlings in the top city. But what it is and where it is, I'm curious to know more about top city. But every starling is flying away. Wait, wait. I will take you to the top city. Before that, this is not only our story, but this is our four years of hard work. This is our top ideas of disruption book where we compiled all our disruptive ideas. We are still working on it and we will reach one ten ideas soon. These are our top accomplishments. Some were super successful, some sustained, some did not even sustain, but who cares? We are happy for what we accomplished and we are ready to accomplish more, learn more, explore more and experience more. Starlings, now, I will take you to our Top City. Top City, designing our own world. A revolutionary idea to design our own world, our own city, our Top City. But wait, first of all, why do we want to design our own city? To disturb the way cities have been assumed. To disturb the way cities have been, have been built. Yes, our city, a place where... Our homes are our laboratories and our colonies are our test beds and manifest a decentralized web of network where we want to devise an ecosystem and spread our top culture all around the world, where we want to fabricate our own top university and be lifelong enthusiastic learners. 
where we want to create our own currency and be financially untied to pursue our big dreams where we want to make every moment of our life special and be a stress free bee where we want to spread our wings and fly high you might think is this even possible or are we nuts to invention such a heavenly picture skew of our future yes we are mad to make a difference in this world we want to be seamlessly obsessed by making our top city possible what beautiful place i would see drones is in sustainable environment and more i would love to join the top then as a top city thank you so much darling thank you so to this beautiful moderation i learned a lot from you all today drones is your ever learning mindset all the way thanks darling Wow, Starlings, that was a lucid presentation by Tok Marmaration. But what is this Marmaration? Who are these young Starlings? This is who we are, Team Tok Isel. We are these young Starlings striving to touch sky high limits, dreaming big, making the impossible possible. And this is our story. And let us end the presentation with a video. Please play the video, Deepthi. Thank you, Deepthi. Thank you, team. Signing off. Team Top is here. Yeah. Now the stage is open for the comments. Trixa, do you have any comments or any questions? Well, I'd like to start by saying I'm just really grateful to be here with you all. Um, I'm, uh, I'm inspired by what it is you're creating here. And it's just an honor to get to share this, this space and this time with you. So thank you for giving me your time. It's the most precious thing we can give each other. Um, yeah, I, I haven't uh, gotten to be part of a big group call like this for a while. And I just have to say it really warms my heart to see so many people coming together for a common purpose. And uh, I can already feel just the really good energy that you, you create here. So um, I'm very grateful to be part of this. Thanks for having me. Um, do you have any questions for you? Um, yeah, I mean, are, are you all over India in different cities? Yes, sir. Okay. I, uh, I've traveled to India a few times, um, mostly just to port cities, because a lot of the concerts I give are on cruise ships. So I've, uh, I've stopped in places like Mumbai, Chennai, Goa, I think that's it. But um, I've always been very fascinated by the, the culture of India. And uh, there's just a, there's a, there's an energy that comes from that place. that's very special. And um, it's something I'd like to experience more of. So I don't know, it's, it's a lot's coming up for me right now about uh, how much I admire your culture. And uh, I love to see that you're all coming together 
to do something uh, great with your lives. Because uh, for me, since I was a child, just wanting to really do something special with my life seemed very important, that I wasn't here by accident, and that if I was going to be here in this lifetime, I wanted to do something really great with myself. So uh, it's wonderful to see that you all share that mindset as well. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We love to hear those comments from you. And thank you, sir. Our Let's start. Our next part of Top Talk starts now, sir. We will be having an interaction session with Craig Richard. Yeah. Be happy or sad, excited or depressed, success or failure. Music has always been an escape or relief from every feeling. Music just always made sense. Yes. Craig Richard, sir. Craig, sir, we are privileged to interact with you today. Let me start off with a question. Can you tell a little about yourself, sir? Like where you are from, what your family and your education? Sure. I was born in a place called Colorado Springs in the state of Colorado. Uh, obviously, yeah, <laughs> you know that place. <laughs> and uh, I come from two wonderful parents, my mother, Carol, was a singing teacher in the school system. She taught, uh, we call it choir, uh, the singing class for 25 years. And so she inspired me to be a musician when I was young. And my father, Ron, who is one of my best friends, uh, I've been very close with my father my whole life. He, by profession, was a, a therapist. Um, so he gave me a background in deep thinking and really researching life for myself and um, not just taking things for face value. And also my father and I shared a passion together since I was about six years old, which is rock climbing. And that sport has taken me all around the world to very interesting and amazing situations, including my, my self-rescue where I had a climbing accident I had to rescue myself from. Um, I have one brother, his name is Ryan. He also lives in Colorado Springs, and he's also a musician, not by profession, but he's a very talented pianist and drummer, and that's something we share together. Um, Education-wise, I did graduate from university with a bachelor's degree in music. Um, that's a whole story in itself. I ended up going to five different colleges in four years. Um, the short version of that story is that I, well, I was also, you know, trying to figure out what to do with my life is, uh, is pretty normal between the ages of 18 and 80. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to try a little bit of everything. And that experience uh, actually really has come to define the way I've lived my life for the last 15 years or so, wanting to travel the world and experience a little bit of everything in different places. So, here you go. Thank you, sir. Like, we'd like to know more about him, more about you. Like, how did you manage America Ninja singing and playing many instruments? Can you give a few thoughts on us? Sure. Yeah. Um, first of all, I have to say, um, I, are you all familiar with the term shadow? When I say shadow, I mean something that uh, it's a a term by Carl Jung. It's basically things we hide, repress, or deny. It's things we're kind of ashamed of that we don't want to talk about. Um, a big shadow for me as an adult has been feeling like I'm too much, actually. People kind of joke with me often and say, like, you, you do so many things, like, you, you know, relax. Um, and a shadow for mine, of mine f uh, for a time was feeling like I should um, kind of like bring myself down a bit, you know, like uh, 
want to want to be clear with what I'm trying to say. Basically, uh, you're, you're shining too much. You know, you you need to like kind of sit in the background now, kind of thing. And I really struggled with that for a long time because um, you may or may not be aware be aware that it's not the norm to have a group like you do to want to say this life is meaningful to me. I want to do something special with myself. I care, I care about life. And it can be often met by people saying like, what's your deal? Like, you know, life just happens and, you know, get a job, you know, go to work and do whatever, do what everyone else is doing. I never, I never felt that way. I felt that I wanted to really drink deeply of life and so to get back to your initial question about doing a lot of different things, I feel really blessed because both of my parents really just, they gave me a lot of tools. And I think I see that's something that you're getting from this organization, which I appreciate is first of all, just the life-changing idea that you can do anything you want to do. I think doesn't matter what country you're from on this earth it seems like we're all served up that you get a couple of options you can do a b or c and that's it and when i was first told that it's like well what about f what about j i want to do a little bit of x <laughs> and um so having a lot of tools you know knowing that I could do things was revolutionary and life changing for me and having support for that. Um, the fact that you all support each other is invaluable and, and keep that going your whole lives, surrounding yourself with people that say you can be exactly what you want to be. You don't have to be what everyone tells you you're supposed to be. So for me, um, those things were getting the, uh, the tools to be a musician and getting the tools to think for myself. I'd say that that's uh, probably the most powerful thing my, my father gave me was, was encouraged me to think for myself and to do it, what feels right to me. So with those tools, uh, I, I discovered what my talent was and, um, and also what I loved. For me, the two things that I absolutely love in life are playing music and the outdoors. Uh, for me, they're both meditations. I think there's a lot of different types of meditation. For me, music is a meditation. I go to, what do we call it? Um, <laughs> when you're in the zone, when the world just kind of disappears and you're in that blissful place. For me, mostly playing guitar and singing is that very blissful place. And the other one is, is rock climbing. When I'm up on the rock, I don't think about anything else except for exactly that moment, what's happening in front of me. So, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Can I yes, sir. ask the question? Can I, you said, um, you know, something about the shadow, right? Where you, you know, you wanted to not shine. So how did you handle that? I mean, that is a common thing, which at least I know that I have faced it too. Uh, but, you know, in my own small way, I did face, I, you know, I was like thinking, you know, maybe I should not shine so much. Maybe I should not tell so much about what I accomplished or what I am or what I can do. What I can do, I think I can do, right? You don't want to say that because you think you might be hurting someone else's feelings. Sure. You, you know, is that what you're talking about when you say shadow? Yes, definitely. So how do you handle that? Handle it, how yeah. do you handle it even now? Yeah, it's a good question because it's, it wasn't like a thing that's like, oh, this is happening and I just want to change it. And it changed. <laughs> it's been a, a lifelong process. And I think it still comes up for me. Um. Well, to tell you all a very personal story, one of those things was confronting a situation where I realized I was getting some of that, that energy from, that I, I was too much. And this may come as a surprise to you, but it actually was, was my mother. 
Um, there were several years when I felt like I'd call home and say like, oh yeah, and you know, I just went to my, my 60th country and, uh, and I just played a concert with this person and, and the person I was expecting to go, wow, I was so proud of you, like, keep going, keep going. I felt like I was getting these kind of comments like, that's nice, you know, so what else? And um, when I actually realized that I felt like my mom wasn't proud of me, I actually confronted her about it. This is probably five or six years ago. And first of all, the fact that I was able to have that kind of dialogue with my mom to tell her that and that she could receive that was very powerful to me. Yes. And the the interesting thing is when I when I confronted her about it, I said, Mom, I feel like you're not really proud of me sometimes. She said two things. Number one was, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry that you feel that way as your mother. I would never want you to feel that way. And number two, she said, when I'm really honest with myself, you're right. And she said to me something I'll never forget. She said, you're the only person I've ever known that did everything that you wanted to do. And that just uh, opened a whole awareness to me of how common it is that we do in this life what we're told we're supposed to do. And that my mom was a great example of that. And that she started kind of infecting me <laughs> with her own insecurities about not doing what she wanted to do completely unconsciously yes. you know i t you know she said i'm so sorry i i never would want to do that as your mother and i i don't know oh wow it's it's 11 11 here right when i picked up my phone that that means something to me this is a as a special moment i believe in those synchronicities I don't know if you can see this, but uh, <laughs> this te my mom sends me a text like this every other day and without me asking. It says, I've been thinking about you today and how much I love you and how proud of you I am. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. She sent me that just a couple of hours ago. And uh, so I think that that example i could go into others but that one in particular is the most impactful for me of how to deal with that because i had the courage to basically with someone that i felt like i should shrink down and not shine with i said well i want i want to be something special and and why is it that Obviously, this is a very important person to me, but confronting the situation was was a big deal for me. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Like, you are winning our hearts. Like, you are connecting, uh, you, you are connecting us with your heart. Yeah, I think Tarun has a question. Go ahead, Tarun. Hello, sir. I am Tarun. First of all, congratulations, sir. Sir, to become a finalist is not so easy. May I know in this journey, what kind of challenges you faced regarding American Ninja Warrior competition? Sure. Are you all familiar with this thing, by the way? Do you know what it is? It's a very big think. thing in India, too. Is it? Is there an Indian version? I think they watch American Ninja in India. Okay, because uh, I'm aware that different countries create their own version of the TV show. Well, for those of you that don't know what American Ninja Warrior is, it's this obstacle competition, and uh, it is an extremely challenging athletic competition. It's somewhere between gymnastics, parkour, if you're familiar with that term, um, and climbing. And um, yeah, that was a, a big journey for me. 
to become a finalist was a big deal. Um, I was in the, the final 120 competitors out of, I think it was 1,200, 1,200 started, and I was one of the last 120. And there's a film that I think you would all love. If, if any of you love movies, write this down. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's called A Peaceful Warrior. And it's a true story that was adapted by a book by a guy named Dan Millman. And this film really inspired me. Um, basically because this young um, gymnast in college, he injures himself and loses his ability to compete and do what he loves. And then he meets a mentor that teaches him to live in the moment, to be grateful for what he has and to do what he loves because he loves it, not because he wants to do it to impress people or that he's not good enough unless he does it. And this message really inspired me that I wanted to do this extremely challenging thing and also this thing that was in the spotlight. It was a thing on television that people see around the world. I didn't want to do it because I wanted to be, I didn't want my ego to be blown up by it. I didn't want to do it to get people to like me. I wanted to do this thing because I loved it. It made me feel good. And in terms of how I got so far, one thing that this, this story, Peaceful Warrior, is all about is learning to be in the moment. It's this idea that we're constantly distracted by so many different things around us that we can sometimes be missing what's happening right in front of us and our whole life can pass us by without really paying attention in the moment. And so I thought I wanted to take that philosophy and translate it into how I physically competed. And that's, that's part of what the, uh, the film is about. That, and I, I believe this to be true. When we are absolutely present in the moment, it's amazing what we can accomplish, what we can do especially physically with ourselves, it's almost like time can slow down and something that happens very quick and that takes a lot of mental and physical ability, it can become this flow um, where everything you see so clearly and these incredibly challenging things can happen I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's it's like it's like the path is laid out and you can see exactly what's going to happen. And I really experienced that with that competition. I found myself paying such close attention to every move I made as I made it that it was just like this I started on the, uh, the obstacle course and it was like I blinked my eyes and it was over because I was in this flow that was so magical. But when I go back and look at snapshots of the moments, it's like when I was reaching for an obstacle, I wasn't thinking about what would happen if I hit the water and fell, what would happen if I, if I don't get to the next obstacle, what are those people doing down there? My focus was Oh, look at the little tiny particles of light on this thing, the way it shines as my hand is floating through the air to grab this and, and feel the air as it's, you know, rushing against my face as I'm flying through the air and feel my body as it lands perfectly on this mat. Like it was, it was a magical experience to, to go through this thing and be so in the moment. So... I would say that's that's how I became a finalist was learning to truly be in, in the moment in this thing that is just full of chaos and craziness and difficulty and to be so laser focused on what I was doing in the moment. Thank you sir, for sharing with us. Yeah. Well,
It's really fun for me to share this with you guys. I don't get to tell these stories too often. <laughs> Can I ask you another question, uh, Craig? Sure. Uh, so now you have accomplished quite a bit. Okay. You have seen so many countries. You have met so many different people. You have met, been part of many cultures, experienced many cultures. And do you get the feeling like, so what? I mean, you know, anyway, all of this is going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. And does it really matter? So hmm. I'm thinking all of those questions happen to everyone. How do you handle them? Especially a person of what you have accomplished. Or maybe you don't get it. Do you? Oh, I've been thinking about questions like that since I was 12. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. That's what I yeah, thought. One, one thing you should all know about me is that well, I'm 37 years old now, and I'm in a very peaceful place, definitely, uh, about life and what is life. That being said, I don't know what it's all about. Nobody does, and nobody ever will in this lifetime. So <laughs> rest assured of that. Okay. That being said, I feel like I had this inner knowing since I was a child that even if I can't figure out exactly why it is we're here or what we're supposed to do with ourselves, that I am here. And that the fact that this is happening is my opportunity to do something with it. And that's meaningful. You know, this, this idea that what does it matter if, you know, we're all going to die someday and we don't really know what happens after that. We've got great ideas about what, what that is and, and even beliefs right. and that can offer, offer us a lot of comfort. But even if I'll never know for sure, the fact that I'm here, to me, it's very simple. It's like, I'm going to keep waking up every day until I don't. And what is the experience that is one that I gravitate towards? Is it the experience to be grateful, to enjoy myself, to feel good? Or is it the one that feels bad? The one that feels dark, that has pain, that, uh, that sees hopelessness? And obviously, I and all of us want to feel good. We want to have a joyful life. And so the fact that I keep waking up every day and that it's my choice, one or the other, I'm going to keep choosing joy because that's the experience I want to have. And whether there's meaning in that or not, honestly, in the end, it really doesn't matter because that's the experience that feels good. I want to live in the light and that's all that matters. Thank yeah. you, Greg. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Greg, sir. sir. Will you sing a song for us, sir? No? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, sure. Let me grab my guitar. Is there a question? Yeah, we, I want to ask this question. How do you make your living? Because I know you told me that, and I was like blown away. So I think, uh, I, I think you know, these young people will be excited to see that there is you know another option sure yeah i think that's one of the the ways that you and i first connected was you were just so interested in how i've i've made a living so one thing okay well i'll, I'll say i i do make a living full-time as a professional musician and i have my entire adult career um ever since i graduated from college there was very few times just like during you know COVID last year when I had to try to do other things, that um, there's few times that I didn't play music. And one thing I do want to say about that is, you wouldn't believe how many people told me that I should do something practical with myself. You know, how how, how common is that? You know, like nobody makes a life in music. Don't waste your time. To the point that my first professor of music, my private lessons teacher at my first university told me 
you're very smart. You should not get a degree in music. You should be a business major and play music for fun and do something else, do something practical. And that really confused me. That sent me on a tailspin for years. But luckily, I kept my truth inside and continued to do this because I love it. And I think it's Joseph Campbell. He's, I don't know if you're familiar with the, this name, great writer. Um, he says, follow your bliss and doors will open where there were only walls before. And that's not just a nice saying. I believe that to be true. I think if we continue to do something we love, that uh, something will always become available to us with that. So yeah, anyway, um, my main place of work is on cruise ships, actually. I never would have imagined when I was a kid that this was a thing. It's this interesting niche in the music business where people go on vacation on cruises and they have entertainment. And one of the things is these guest artists. They're people that have, you know, a, a good background, basically. People that have sang on Broadway, uh, people that are magicians from Las Vegas, comedians from New York City. And then they have all these different musical acts. And I found my way to doing that. And it's just been this awesome way to travel and see the world and get to play music. So. Yeah, I'm just in a break right now, but last week I was in South America. The, this company flew me to South America to go on a cruise, to give a concert. And um, they put me up in a hotel in, in Uruguay and had a nice stateroom on the ship. And, and all of this is just because I continue to do something I love. So there's so many unique ways to be in this world. We don't have to do what everyone else is doing. And I think when we're willing to take that, that risk, that uh, you can be handsomely rewarded for that. So. This is a song that I just started playing recently by Cat Stevens, the folk singer. And, um, it's called Father and Son. I'll play a little bit of this. It's not time to make a change. Just relax, take it easy. You're still young, that's your fault. There's so much you have to know. Find a girl, settle down. If you want, you can make at me. I am old, but I'm happy. I was once like you are now, and I know that it's not easy to become when you found something going on. Take your time, think a lot, think of everything you got, for you will still be here tomorrow. But your dreams may not. How can I try to explain? When I do, it turns away again. It's always been the same, the same old story. And from the moment I could talk, I was ordered to listen. Now there's a way. And I know that I have to go away. I know I have to go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Please all unmute yourselves. Thank you. <laughs> it's fu funny that that song is actually about a father telling his son what to do, and the son saying, <laughs> "I want to do what I want to do." <laughs> it was written for you. What's that? The song. The song. It seems like it was written for you. Yeah. Except my father right? was was the person who was very encouraging for me to do what I want. 
yeah. When I play that song, I actually, I talk about how parents and children can have those complicated relationships, but mine with my father was not that way, fortunately. It's the same thing, you know, Kale Gibran, who is a Sufi poet, he talks about how, you know, the parent is the bow and the arrow is the child and God is the, or the universe is the archer and who, you know, who sends the, you know, uh, arrow into the open. You can only send the arrow once the arrow is gone, you don't have control over it. And that's what, a, uh, that's what a child is. So he talks about how you can only learn from the child, but you cannot give any thoughts to the child because the child comes with, with, its, uh, with his or her own thoughts. So anyway, uh, Craig, thank you so much for being on the call with us today. Uh, so I, I mean, I, the first, I, as soon as I met you, I knew, I knew you was unique and I really wanted to get to know you. Thank you. <laughs> and you, and I was telling all these people the same day, I called many of them and I said, I met Craig Richard. And I said, we need to talk to him. We need to get to know him. You can, you know, you can ask them. They know it. I was like so excited meeting you. So oh, thank you. Craig. Yeah, it's my honor to be part of this. Thanks for having me. So Kranti, do you want to end the- Thank you, Craig, sir. Like you made our day with a great start. <laughs> Deepthi, could you present the card? To Craig Cricket, sir. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today to experience our top world. Your presence really made us energetic. We love your beautiful smile. Thank you for your heartful comments and listening to us. Your top talk is magical. Yes, music always makes sense. Your magical words and your inspiring story made us truly be in the moment. Thank you for your time, heart, and energy from Throw Gratitude Cluster. Mm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, I can um, participate with you guys in the future. I'm happy to. I'm, I'm really, I just love what you're creating here. So bless you on your journey, and I'm glad I could be part of it. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I will. I would like to thank everyone for talk for taking time today here today, listening to our story. I am so grateful for this opportunity. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Craig sir. You made our day very great start. More energetic. <laughs>